my name is Deanna with the Sierra Life, where we're all about going outside and finding your adventure. Today, we're gonna to be working on a modification for the Geo Pro 15 TV. Come on in and let's take a look. So today's modification, what we're planning to do is we're gonna install a lagoon table right here. Not sure if you know what a lagoon table is, but basically it's a table that you can mount and the top of the table can swivel whichever way you like and it can also go up or down. So what I typically do is I come up with the ideas and then Sean, who's behind the camera, he does the install and he does all the modifications. I'm just the idea person. I guess that means I gotta tell you guys what we're doing. <laughs> okay, so since Deanna wanted me to explain what was gonna happen here, the lagoon table, which we'll link in the description below where we actually got this lagoon table at, some of the things that it came with, uh, just the basic upright bar for it. There's another member, this piece comes off. Uh, this is where you actually will attach your tabletop. We'll have another piece of this where I explain what we're gonna use to make the tabletop. Uh, out of but let me get that out of the way just for now uh, and then there's a mounting plate and this mounting plate is meant to allow the vertical bar to slide on so that when this is mounted wherever you want it at you can slide this up and down therefore adjusting the height of the table and then with that on it would swing in and out so a couple things though uh, it came with the mounting plate for the front and it did come with a block that we'll use on the back side of this since this is pretty thin However, something to take into consideration here, if Deanna comes a little closer with the camera, when this were to get mounted, if it gets mounted flat on here, you notice the top piece of the cabinet are all behind or kind of covering this T-slot, and that is where this would need to uh, slide onto. So for this to be effective, we need to get this out so that it is out in front of this tabletop version. So had to go and create a little block, chose to make it the exact size as the mounting plate. So now when this gets mounted on here, our T-bar will have no problem attaching in and being able to slide uh, up and down. Now, because of that, the bolts that they sent with the original mounting bracket are not going to be long enough. As you can see, there's barely anything hanging on, and I still have another half inch thick uh, piece that's gonna be behind here, and then a washer, and then a nut. So if you go with this route, and you've got a setup like this, especially if you've got the G15TB, and you have to build this block out like this, you will need to go and pick up a longer set of bolts. You can get these at any basic hardware store, Lowe's, Home Depot, anything that you got near you, you just need to get longer ones. Take this with you, exact same size, just get a longer length uh, so that'll be able to go. So we're gonna go get new bolts and then we will dive into marking, drilling, and getting this mounted. All right, so as we were saying, the original bolts that came with the Lagoon table were a hair short and ran over to Home Depot and same exact size, everything, but as you can tell, just went with a little longer of the bolt, uh, and here's why. Remember, these ones were designed to kind of go through that, that bracket plate and then uh, have a board behind it. Problem was we had to build that out uh, with something a little bit thicker, and that's what you see uh, here. Here's the original mounting plate, and this is the board that I had to make uh, in order to get this out far enough so that the post, when it goes on here, would clear the current uh, countertop. So what's gonna happen now is we're gonna drill some holes. This will get slid in um, into those holes. And this is what will be on the front side. Then on the back side is this board. Now this board came with the lagoon table and you can see it's already pre-drilled with the holes in it. So that what's gonna happen is I'm gonna slide this through. We'll have the piece of Luon that's currently down here that you'll see when I drill through that here in a second. And then behind it, this will come on and these bolts will go through. Then on the back side of this, on those bolts, we'll be able to put a flat washer and a lock nut, and this will cinch nice and tight to that current piece of 
uh, Luon material that's down there and really create a solid structure for the lagoon table to slide down and mount on and it won't um, kind of rip off very easily. It won't break the thin material behind it because we're dispersing a lot of that pressure through this piece of uh, half inch thick plywood that uh, came with the lagoon table. So let's go ahead and drill some holes, start sliding this thing in, bolt it all up, and then we'll be able to install the posts and the top, and then we can start taking measurements to actually make the tabletop and get it attached. Okay, so as you can see, went to test fit everything to put this back plate on and it's just slightly hitting this top cross membrane uh, up here. So what I'm gonna do is just shave this down right here so that it'll fit uh, underneath and then we'll be able to start bolting everything up. All right, so got it here. Let me bring you guys over. Shaved off a little bit of it and now, as you can see, fits in nice and clean underneath that. All of our holes line up. And now we're ready. Tighten down some bolts. This part right here is probably gonna be a little easier if you have two sets uh, of hands, two different people, uh, because somebody's gonna need to be back here with a socket set putting this on while somebody kind of uh, holds the bolt from the inside. And that is because I highly recommend you use the locking nuts uh, that they send with the kit, especially driving down the road, this thing's rattling all over the place. These locking nuts are gonna really help keep that uh, nice and tight and in place and not wiggle free to where that uh, lagoon table mounting plate on the inside starts to get a little loose uh, and wobbly. So be a little helpful if you had two sets of, of hands. Uh, I'm gonna attempt to get it done by myself, but I have a feeling I'm gonna have to wait until Deanna gets back here to help and just hold that in place for me. All right, because I'm a little bit impatient, I didn't want to wait till Deanna uh, got back. What I decided was I went ahead, just took everything back off, uh, opened up this side again. Now I'm able to uh, kind of reach down in here. Uh, from above, I can access all of this, uh, as well as still have access up here uh, with my, my other hand. So let's go ahead and get this installed. Got this all on now, mounted. Everything's good, right? Nice and secure. There is a little bit of flex. It's probably hard to see in the video, but there is still just a slight little bit of flex uh, from this. And we're gonna go on the backside and I'll show you what I'm talking about here. So this is what I mean by a little bit of the flex. Seeing as that all it is, is this piece of thin Luon just kind of nailed uh, around the edges on here. This back plate and the plate that we added on the front added a lot of st stability and security uh, to it. So it's, it's not a ton of flex, but you can just barely see. I don't know if you guys can see that in the video. When I push on this, it kind of moves in and out. Uh, so what I'm thinking about doing is adding a support from here across onto this side that from the inside I can nail this too and attach into this over here just to try to give this a little bit more. Might be a little overkill. Uh, I, I may wait until we put the, the piece on, uh, the vertical upright and the other aspect and I get the top made and add the top, but it's gonna be something. I'll, I'll let you know here in a little bit whether we decide to add something to that or not. I don't see it flexing a ton, uh, but it may be something just to add a hair more uh, strength to it. Now that that is on and bolted, and like I said, I may still add a uh, support back there. We're gonna make that as a decision after uh, we get the rest of this on. Now it's time to assemble the rest of the Lagoon table. So the upright bar uh, is gonna go on. We're gonna slide it down on its track and uh, I'm just gonna put it on at a at a certain point for right now, just to get the next piece uh, attached. And uh, I will link in the description of this video where we purchased this Lagoon uh, table at. So then this part here, this is what the tabletop will actually mount to. Uh, it does have another lock uh, device here that allows this part 
uh, to spin, uh, as well as this will be able to spin uh, on top of there. There's a lot of versatility, a lot of flexibility uh, in this piece, but we're just gonna take this and get that down on there. Just snug it up, and as you can see, it slides out of the way. Uh, and if we were sitting here having dinner, I know I'm a little cut off there, but we could slide this out, lock this into place, uh, we'll have a nice tabletop here then. Deanna could be sitting on this side, I'm over here. Uh, we'll have our, our table piece here. So the idea is then we can turn it out of the way and uh, when we wanna go to sleep and then we don't want it up this high, you're able to drop this down all the way to the floor and this tabletop uh, will be right here, It'll be a place since we added the USB charging devices, our charging capability right here, we'll be able to sit some of our devices on it when we go to sleep. Uh, if you wanna see how we did the additional USB charging ports and how we installed those, check the card uh, above here or check in the description of this video. I'm gonna link that video up, the full tutorial walkthrough of how we added these additional USB charging ports. And... All right, so I went ahead and added couple cross braces, just some scrap uh, pine that I had laying around. Just cut it down to size, threw a couple screws uh, in here, but I mean, it is like, it is solid. This thing is not moving now at all. Uh, and it actually worked out really well. Uh, if you tuned in and watched the video on installing of the USB uh, charging ports, you remember I said that I was leaving this down dangling until I decided what I did back here to then I could tuck it out of the way. So this actually worked out really well. I was able to just kind of staple that wire up out of the way. Now I know nothing back here uh, is gonna get in the way. If you haven't watched this video, we will link this in the description or you might see a card pop up here at the top of the screen. Go check it out uh, and learn how you can put some different USB charging ports uh, in on your rig. So that's all in, that's solid, solid as a rock. Uh, now it's time to get the top together. All right, now, so for the top, what we need to do is determine how big we want this top to be. And to do that, I'm gonna take a measurement from this back wall out to the front, but I don't want it coming all the way out to the front. I do want it coming back a hair this way when we lower the lagoon table all the way down, it's not sticking out uh, past what's currently here. So I'm gonna probably take it in by about a half inch. Uh, and then same thing left to right on our width. It needs to be able to fit between these two cushions as we uh, drop it down. So what I've done is I've taken a couple different measurements and uh, drew it out here on the paper for us. But uh, I'm thinking we're gonna go 19 inches uh, from here to here. It's a little over 20-ish inches or so uh, currently in there. That'll give us a little bit of space so that it doesn't, uh, when it comes down, it's it's inside of this, not hanging out over top of uh, this part here. Uh, and then 25 inches from the back wall out here to the front. It was like 25 and three quarter, 25 and a heavy half uh, out to here. So cutting it back, it'll end it about right here. And again, that's so that when we drop the lagoon table down, it fits inside this, this opening and it doesn't uh, stick out. Okay, so now that I have the size of the top, uh, I went and picked up some of this mahogany. Uh, I, I don't know, I wasn't planning on going with mahogany, but I walked past and I absolutely fell in love with the look of this particular uh, piece of wood that was sitting there on the shelves and I decided to go ahead and grab it. So I've got a couple pieces here. We are gonna glue these two together to get our to uh, total width. Uh, I've got everything cut down to rough sizes right now, but we're gonna glue these two together. I'm gonna throw a couple pocket holes in there just for some added security. We'll let that dry up. We'll route out the edges uh, and then give it a nice good sanding to about 220 or so. Uh, and then all I'm gonna do is I did a little sample piece uh, right here to see it. But all we're gonna do I think is just throw some clear coat on there a couple different layers of some varathane uh, to protect it, uh, and that's gonna be it. Uh, little overkill on the type of wood, but uh, man, it's gonna pop. It is gonna pop when it's done and it's inside, and you guys see it all uh, put back together with all the comforters in and everything, the whole color scheme. This just gorgeous red mahogany is gonna mm, pop it up. So let's go ahead and get some pocket holes drilled. Throw some glue on these joints, clamp it up. We'll get it all done and then bring it back to you when it's all finished.
All right, so we've got the tabletop done, ready, time, go get it installed. Okay, so I've brought it in here and I've just set it on <clears throat> top of the mount. Now there's a couple things that we need to take into consideration before we mark where we're gonna mount this. I'm gonna end up marking just a little mark underneath here. We'll end up taking this off, flipping it over to screw it in. But I wanted to kind of dry fit it. So I set it on top of here and <clears throat> because we're gonna be swinging this in and out of uh, the way, we'll be swinging it over here as such. Uh, if we're gonna be sitting here having dinner or breakfast or coffee, or even just doing some uh, remote working when we're on the road, we needed to be able to swing out, but we also want it to be able to swing back in over here to get it out of our way, free up this space. So we can't push this all the way back against or it won't uh, swing and clear. So what I've done was I took it and I uh, got it as close as I feel comfortable with it. So I know it kind of clears both directions here when we swing it. And what that's gonna allow is me to mount it in this place. And now I know that when we swing it in and out, we won't be hitting the back wall. Uh, and it is inside the, the area here when we drop it down uh, that it doesn't interfere. It doesn't even stick out past uh, the actual mount. So I'm gonna go ahead and mark underneath now where my bracket's at. Uh, so that I can then take it off, flip it over, get everything all squared lined up, screw my little holes in, and we'll be set and ready to go. Okay, so now that I've got it all nice and square exactly uh, where I want, I know that my um, mount is not too far uh, forward or too far back where when I attach this to it and I put it back on we'll be able to swing and not uh, hit the wall. So I'm gonna go ahead and drill in the handful of screws uh, that were provided with our lagoon table. We'll be all attached and ready to go. All right so as you can see we've got it all attached. It's mounted. It's good. Man this thing is looking sharp. Uh, spins out nice perfect for a worktop, dinner, breakfast, whatever. Man, I cannot wait uh, to eat on top of this new Lagoon table next time we're out uh, on the road. I love that it just swings itself right out of the way. We'll be able to collapse it down uh, in the evening. It sits nice, fits right into this area just perfectly. So if you got some value out of today's video, if this is something you plan to do inside of your rig and you've got some questions, feel free, throw them down in the comment box. I would love to help you out any way that I possibly can. If you're not already subscribed to our channel, I encourage you, hit the little subscribe button, turn on the bell, this way you get notified every single time the Sierra Life posts a new video, whether that be an update to our Geo Pro G15TB, or maybe it's just an adventure that we're out on. As I say every single video, I look forward to seeing you guys on a future tutorial, walkthrough, tip, trick, something that might help you. But at the end of the day, get out there, find your adventure. See you guys next time.